Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened to me one time in this shitty little podunk town uh, called Boonville in upstate New York. Boonville is one of these little one stoplight shitholes. Uh, this happened to be about midway between Utica and Fort Drum. Now, normally, I would never take that route. Because when I go downstate, I take uh, Interstate 81. But I happen to have been going to a chess tournament in Utica, which is about the most disgusting shithole I'd ever seen in my life. Like, you want to talk about one of these rusted out, run down, disgusting dumps, like upstate New York dumps the time forgot? Utica's just case in point, right? And, you know, you want to talk about Detroit. Camden, New Jersey, this is like the fucking white Camden, Camden for white people, ugh, but I played this chess tournament, played terribly, got my ass kicked, and I'm on my way back, driving back to Fort Drum, and this cop is heading in the other direction when I'm heading to this town, Boonville. And all of a sudden, he just whips a U-turn, gets behind me, and pulls me over. Fuck, what was I doing? I wasn't even speeding. I don't think I was doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. But, you know, cops in these little towns have nothing better to do. You're doing like 31 in the 30, they're going to give you a ticket. Because it's like the first traffic stop they made in two weeks. They don't even have that. He's like, do you know how fast you were going? You were going 43 in a 40, son. And I'm just like, um, and? What? Because cops on Long Island, you could be doing 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. They don't give a shit. Like on the LIE on Long Island, you'd have to be doing a minimum of 80 to even get pulled over. Past plenty of cops doing 75, 80. They just want to keep the traffic flowing. They don't want to stop you. Other reason why I love Suffolk cops, but this douchebag pulls me over for like four miles an hour over the limit, and then he goes, yeah, you know, uh, your tints are really, really dark. Yeah, I'd gotten these tints, like, when I got back from Iraq. This is like early 2000, like April 2011, and Ashley kept bugging me to get tints, like, yo, you should get tints on your car. It would be so cool, yo. David, come on, get them. So I go to this place. I spend like $225 to get my windows tinted. And I told the guy, because I knew they were illegal. I'm like, don't tint them that dark. Just make it like moderate. What does the guy do? He makes it like limo tinted. Fucking limo black. You could not see anything inside my car and incredibly it's the first time I got stopped for this but he goes okay well I have a tint meter in my patrol car I had no idea they have these it will tell me exactly how tinted your windows are and then we'll go from there so he brings the tint meter back and as he's putting it on my window he goes okay New York state law says that your tint's have to be at least 70%, meaning letting 70% of uh, light in through the window. Puts the tint meter on, beep, 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 beep. Well, sir, uh, I have to inform you, I did say 70, right? Your tints are 12%, so they were illegal six times over. I got to write you a ticket for this. I'm sorry to ruin your day, kid, but you can't have tints this dark. So this guy writes me a ticket, and I drive back to Fort Drum. Thank God I ended up getting pussy that night. Uh, (laughs) You know, I got lost in the chess tournament. I got a stupid ticket from this cop for no really no reason. And that made it all feel better. But I still had to deal with this ticket at some point. It's about a month or so before I get out of the Army. And finally, I get a court date to show up to Boonville. 
And what do you know? These jerk-offs, <laughs> guess what date they give me? May 24th at like 7 o'clock at night, right? That's the exact date I'm getting out of the Army. And if I had finaled out and left Fort Drum at 5, 5.30 p.m., it would have been perfect. Unfortunately, the Army works in the morning. We don't work at night. <laughs> so I final out by about 11 a.m., sign my last clearing papers. So now this is at eight hours, right? So I call up Boonville, and, oh, before this, I'm trying to deal with them on the phone for, like, a few weeks before. And I'm used to living in Suffolk County, where the courtrooms are full every day. Judges are, you know, it judges a full-time job, right? No, I find out this town is so small, and they have so few cases, e even traffic cases, that the judge literally has a day job. They're like, oh, we only hold court once a week at 7 p.m. on, on Mondays. Because, you know, the judge is at work. I mean, what do you mean he's at work? Oh, he, he only comes to court once a week. It's his second job. What? Welcome to small town America, son. I said, I had no idea. But I tell them, like, weeks ahead of time. I'm like, look, I'm getting out on the same exact day as this ticket. Right, as this court appearance, but not, <laughs> but the court appearance is eight hours after I get out of Fort Drum. I got to drive back to Long Island. My 94-year-old grandma has, you know, come from California to visit me. She doesn't really travel well anymore. And I just got a life and I can't go to this, right? Can you please just either let me pay the ticket over the phone, I have a credit card, or just Give me a break and cancel it. It's a small town, right? You can do whatever you want. And they're like, you know what? Thank you for your service, sir. It's a small, very small violation. You know what? We'll, we'll just scrap the ticket, okay? You, you enjoy your uh, civilian life. Enjoy getting out of the army. I'm like, oh, thank you very much. So I figured I'd heard the end of this. And that was it. So I skipped the court date. I wasn't supposed to have any more. I drive down to Long Island and start my civilian life. Totally forget about this shit. Like, a year later, or something like that, I go to register my car, and my registration was about to expire. And the lady at the DMV goes, Uh, sir, you can't register this vehicle. Why? Your license is suspended. What? I haven't had a ticket in a while. From what? Typing on the computer. Uh, failure to appear in court and answer a ticket from Boonville, New York. She's like, what the fuck is that? God damn it, these fucking dipshits told me I was off, right? They're like, yeah, we'll just cancel the ticket, and that's it. Fuck you! They not only didn't cancel it, but let it fester for an entire year until my license gets suspended. God forbid I got pulled over. Oh, man. If I had gone to jail over that shit, I would have been on the road to Boonville like, whooping someone's fucking ass, right? Like, I want to see this judge. I want to see the clerk, idiot clerk in that office that said it was canceled. Yeah. I got a bone to pick with you all. But, yeah, I ended up taking care of that, lifting the suspension. Finally, the whole thing was over after, like, a year plus. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was my story of... Uh, me driving through this shitty little podunk town, Boonville, that no one ever heard of, I never heard of, couldn't find the place on a map, and uh, me getting a ticket, I thought was dismissed, and uh, really wasn't. What a town. What a fucking town.